Now that the Symphony Aqua System is completely filled with water, uh, what will need to take place is the inside membrane needs a very heavy lubricant of Vaseline. In order to do this, it will be necessary to remove the water that is in the tank. You complete this by opening the valve and letting gravity take the water into the bag. When the bag is half full, you will then close the valve. At this time, you'll be utilizing Vaseline to smear on the inside of the membrane. It will require about a handful or more of Vaseline. It has been noticed that success has been better when more Vaseline is used. Now that the Symphony Aqua system is fully lubricated on the inside membrane, it is now time to determine the proper height of the tank in relationship to the patient. This is completed by having the patient sit and the top of the tank should be level or slightly above the patient's sound side knee in the seated position. If shims are needed to get the top of the tank level, you will put the correct number of shims underneath the tank to get the desired height. At this time, we should ensure that the tank is approximately half full. If it is not half full, remove water by opening the valve and letting water flow into the bag. In order to determine the correct pressure needed for the specific patient, use the Symphony VC app that is available both on Android and iPhones. To find this pressure, you will need the weight of the patient, the circumference at mid patellar tendon level, the firmness of the tissue, whether it's firm, medium, or soft, as well as the K level of the patient. When all these are entered, it will give you a pressure that is desired for the patient. By achieving this pressure during the casting system, this will reduce the needs for further modifications of the cast. So now we are ready to cast the limb. We will use the patient's liner that they are going to utilize with the prosthetic, saran wrap or some sort of barrier, and a moist stockinette. Apply these to the limb, then apply plaster bandage material evenly to the limb making sure that areas are not too thick or that there are no holes in the plaster bandage. Also remember not to compress the limb by manipulating the plaster bandage material. After the plaster bandage has been applied to the limb, place a trash bag over top of the cast material. This will ensure that the limb slides into the Symphony Aqua System appropriately, as well as keeping your Symphony Aqua System tank clean through the casting process. Next, have the patient stand with support while dangling their leg into the Symphony Aqua System cylinder. It is important that they will not be weight-bearing during this phase. Once the patient's limb is placed inside the cylinder, open the valve and lift up the bag to allow water flow into the Symphony Aqua System cylinder. Water will begin to flow into the Symphony Aqua System and the membrane will begin to add pressure to the limb. At this time, Close the valve and the needle will begin to move as pressure is now beginning to be applied. The unit is now completely filled and the valve is closed. The patient can begin to transfer all of their weight onto the Symphony Aqua system. Here the patient can support themselves in the parallel bars, walker, or back of chair as needed. But it is important that the ultimate goal is to bear as much weight as possible through the residual limb into the Symphony Aqua system. The patient's limb should enter the Symphony Aqua system at the level of the femoral condyles or to the top of the patella. Penetrating too deep into the cylinder will diminish the desired pressure. During the full weight bearing process, take note of the obtained pressure from the gauge on the front of the Symphony Aqua system. This will become important later during modifying. After three to five minutes or when the plaster has set off, have the patient shift weight back onto the sound side. Open the valve to allow water out of the Symphony Aqua System. The membrane will begin to pull away from the residual limb. The patient can now begin to lift up out of the tank. Take note that they will not be able to bend their knee at this time. Once the leg is completely out of the Symphony Aqua System, the patient may sit down and the cast is ready to be removed.